Alright guys, welcome back. Let's do another pickups video and I've been really excited for this video because I have got a lot of pickups in the past month and a half I think. A lot that I really wanted. There's one item in particular I've wanted for a couple of years so um, this is going to be a big haul so let's get started. Um, this one I really wanted. I'm so glad that they finally released the Halloween 2 NECA figure, Michael Myers, which is so cool. That, just in particular, just, I love the design of Michael from Halloween 2 with his mask because of Dick Warlock's, like, bigger head. So, like, his mask looks even more creepy in a lot of ways, I think. Um, but look at that artwork. That's so awesome. I love that artwork. And I've already had him displayed before, but he's really just one of my favorite NECAs now. I really, really love this one. And now for the Legos, I've only got one set this time, which is a really big set that I wanted to complete my Harry Potter collection. And this is the Fantastic Beast Nudes case of uh, magical creatures. So it's like the case, but like it's got all these creatures that you make with it. But the only negative is that this suitcase that they created, like out of Legos, is not big enough to fit all these creatures. It's kind of pointless. But the design of this is really cool and really awesome. And I really like all the creature designs. So. Uh, only Lego set this time, but I really like this one a lot. Now, before we go on to the movies, I got the one thing that I really wanted for a couple years, which, if you don't know, I'm a gamer too. Haven't been as much recently, but I have wanted a Nintendo Switch for a long time, since it came out in 2017. So I bought the... I finally jumped the gun and finally bought a Nintendo Switch. Really am loving it so much. And the game I got was Super Mario Odyssey, which is fantastic. I'm already on the third world. Love Mario games, particularly 3D ones. So this one is just a... Really, uh, just one of my favorites so far playing this year. Really love this game. Now on to the movies. And I've got a lot. Um, I bought my most... My favorite movie of the year... Toy Story 4 on Blu-ray, the Target exclusive Digibook, which really, really love the artwork. That's very cool. And it's even got like this in case where like it's all these different artworks, character portraits, really cool. Then we got Spider-Man Far From Home, which I have not rewatched again yet, but I loved this going to going into seeing this in the theaters. I really loved it. Um, I really want to watch it again because I've only seen it once so far. Um, Really loving this Sony Dizzy acquisition of, of Spider-Man, and I really can't wait for the next one. Then, we have one of the really awesome steelbooks I've got now in my collection, which is the Shining steelbook. And if you look close enough, it says, All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy, all around the artwork. If I bet you can tell right there. And uh, it's an awesome steelbook. I was debating on getting the steelbook or the regular edition, because the regular edition's artwork I really loved, but... The Steelbook, though, like, this is going to last longer. Like, this just really a beautiful Steelbook. Really love The Shining as well. And I had to get it because Dr. Sleep is coming out in November, and I had to rewatch The Shining. I haven't seen it in a couple years, but I think it's fantastic. So had to rewatch, have to rewatch The Shining soon, but I'm so glad I got The Steelbook. Then we got Child's Play, the remake, which I really, really dug the hell out of. This was an awesome remake. Um, very different than the original. I mean, it's got the basic premise of, like, oh, killer doll, but, like, it does a great job of being so different with having a sympathetic kind of killer, um, and it's really funny in a way where the humor was different than the other Chucky movies, and it's just a different iteration all around, and I really enjoyed this one a lot. I think it's really a good one in the Chucky films, even though it's not part of the other ones. I really like this one a lot, and I hope that they do make sequels to this, because I would like to see both uh, Chucky's, like, do their own, do more sequels. But I really, really enjoyed this in theaters and rewatching again just solidified how much I thought this was really awesome. Now for VHSs, uh, Goodwill of course has, in my area, uh, VHSs five for a dollar. So there were a couple movies that I finally found that I wanted to, wanted to get and I'm so excited that I finally found. A couple Disney ones that I've not seen before. Um, and I don't know if anybody will know what these are either, but I've got the horse in the gray flannel suit. Which sounds so odd, but I love Disney. I don't want to see all the Disney movies. And this one um, stars Dean Jones and Kurt Russell. So this is pretty cool just to see with them involved. Um, so I wanted to see this one. Then we have The Shaggy Dog, which I have not seen the original Shaggy Dog or the remake or any of the sequels. So I this is a cool one I want to see, and I'm 
I wanted to see this one for a while, so I'm glad I finally found it for a quarter. Now, we got a couple horror VHSs. Um, I, for Scream, I own the first Scream already on VHS, and I own Scream 2. But today, at Goodwill, I found another copy of the original Scream, but with Drew Barrymore's face cover, which is so cool. I really love that artwork. Um, and it also came with all the inserts. That's so awesome. It came with all the inserts. Like, that's for the movie Ransom. But it came with all the inserts in the VHS, and I love when I find that. That's so awesome. Um... And this one has like a bonus exclusive behind the scenes featurette, which I bet is on the DVD or Blu-ray, but that'd be cool just to have it to watch like after the movie if I watch this on VHS. And then Scream 3, which again, I own Scream 1 and Scream 2 on VHS already. I finally completed the trilogy and got Scream 3. And if you look closely, you'll notice that this is a demo tape screener. So the, like even the back, it like doesn't have the full synopsis it's just about like this movie made this much money like they did with old screeners so I thought that this was really cool and this one actually had like plastic over the whole tape except for the bottom like they just pulled the tape out from the bottom and I took it off but I do like how this was preserved like all these years since 2000, 2001. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad I got this in perfect condition. My last tape is Scary Movie 2. And again, it's a screener. Again, it's a demo tape screener. So that's pretty cool. Um, love Scary Movie 2. This is one of the one of my favorite comedies. The first two are in particular some of my favorite comedies. And I really do need to review them on the channel one day because I really do love the first four. Um, but this one is just cool to find a VHS. I really, I really enjoy Scary Movie 2 as well. And that is all the pickups. And that is a, to me, I felt like it was a big pickups for usual for me because I, I try not to buy a whole lot all the time. Um, but I do like to, like with my pickups, I do them like, I guess monthly is what I would do. Like usually every month or so. So this month I thought I had a really great assortment of stuff, especially the Switch, which I wanted for a couple of years, and all these new movies that came out that I wanted to rewatch, like Toy Story 4, and Child's Play, and Spider-Man, and I can't, I'm glad I got The Shining, I'm glad I got those Goodwill VHS tapes for a dollar, five of them for a buck, can't beat that, so, so that is my pickups video, um, and thank you guys so much for watching.